This video will compare the capabilities of the American F-22 Raptor and Russian MiG-31 Foxhound, two of the world's most capable combat jets. The F-22 entered service in 2005 and remains today by far the most capable Western fighter designed for air-to-air -air combat. It's the heaviest Western fighter ever to enter service and provides a heavier and more costly counterpart to the newer F-35. The MiG-31 is the heaviest aircraft in the world designed for air-to-air -air combat and has been in service since 1981. The design has been extensively modernized since with the latest variants entering service in 2018. The Foxhound is a direct successor to the MiG-25 Foxbat which proved itself in combat to be one of the most survivable jets ever designed. A comparison of the two aircraft which form the elite of the American and Russian fleets has significant implications for the balance of power in the air in the event of a potential conflict. The MiG-31 is the fastest modern combat jet in the world and can exceed speeds of Mach 2.8 allowing it to respond quickly to threats and deliver missiles with considerable energy. The F-22's speed is approximately Mach 2.3, making it an above average performer but still much slower than the MiG-31. The Raptor is slower than its predecessor the F-15, but still much faster than the cheaper F-35. Both aircraft are capable of operating at high altitudes, although the MiG-31 has a considerable edge and can pass the Armstrong limit and operate at 26 km altitudes. The F-22 is restricted to altitudes of about 20 km. Both aircraft enjoy a considerable advantage over more widely used lighter jets such as the F-35, F-16 and Rafale. The ability to operate at extreme altitudes contributes considerably to the Foxhound's survivability, engagement range and situational awareness. Both aircraft benefit from high endurance, although the MiG-31 holds the world record and is designed to patrol over extreme distances at supersonic speeds. The F-22 was designed to penetrate deep behind Eastern European lines, but ultimately wasn't designed to patrol an area as vast as the Soviet Union. Looking at maneuverability, the MiG-31 is Russia's least maneuverable aircraft designed for air-to-air -air combat and performs very poorly at short ranges. This combined with the F-22's higher climb rate gives the Raptor an overwhelming advantage in short-range engagements. The F-22 is also therefore better able to evade missile attacks. The F-22's APG-77 radar is the most powerful integrated onto any Western fighter. It can detect larger targets around 470 kilometers away. The latest iteration of the MiG-31's Zaslon radar is almost three times as heavy as that on the Raptor. Its detection range against large targets is thought to exceed 600 kilometers. The Zaslon is also large and powerful enough to allow the MiG-31 to operate as an airborne early warning aircraft. The F-22 hasn't had an avionics upgrade in 10 years and makes use of computer architecture from the 1990s which has made the design difficult to upgrade. Its ALR-94 electronic warfare suite is advanced but less capable than those on newer fighters such as the F-15EX and F-35. Little is known about the MiG-31's avionics but the latest MiG-31 BSM is thought to have integrated state-of-the-art systems comparable to the latest Russian fighters such as the Su-35. Both planes can use onboard radar jammers to confuse enemy missiles. The F-22 and MiG-31 have recently integrated the AIM-120D and R-37 air-to-air missiles. These are the most capable munitions for long-range engagements in both countries' arsenals. The R-37 is a much larger missile and benefits from a much higher speed, over double the range and over three times the payload. Longer range considerably increases the area of control around each aircraft and allows foxhounds to threaten targets from well beyond retaliation range. A faster speed and heavier warhead make the missile far more difficult to evade. While the AIM-120 dates back to 1991, the R-37 is an entirely new missile which entered service in 2018. Both missiles have state-of-the-art sensors and electronic warfare countermeasures. Strike capabilities are a field where the MiG-31 has one of the most significant advantages. The F-22 can carry two 450kg bombs or 830kg bombs. It cannot carry cruise or ballistic missiles or any kind of dual guidance standoff weapons. The F-22's air-to-ground munitions are poorly suited to penetrating fortifications and cannot engage moving targets. The MiG-31 deploys the KH-47M2 Kinjal hypersonic ballistic missile which can strike targets up to 2,000 km away at Mach 10 speeds. The missile's high speed and maneuverability make it effectively impossible to intercept, 
while its range allows foxhounds to engage targets from well out of harm's way. The Kinjal is also highly capable as a ship hunter and nuclear delivery vehicle. Unlike the F-22, the MiG-31 can also be equipped with anti-satellite weapons making use of its high speed and altitude for optimal launches. This is one of the primary roles for which the Foxhound was originally designed. The range and capabilities of their highly secretive anti-satellite missiles are unknown, but they have been under development since the 1980s. This highly valued capability contributes to the MiG-31's versatility and allows it to blind adversaries in a war's early stages. Combat jets rarely go head-to-head -head alone, they operate as part of larger networks. Thus, the optimal combat jet will be able to engage a wide range of high-value targets effectively. The F-22 is only really well optimized to engage enemy fighters. Its engagement range is far too short to seriously threaten bombers, AWACS or other support aircraft. Its air-to-ground capabilities are extremely limited. Where the Raptor can threaten only a limited range of targets, the MiG-31 is one of the most versatile jets in the world. The Kinjal missile in particular optimizes the Foxhound to neutralize a wide range of key targets in a war's opening hours. Some of these include airfields, Patriot and Thad missile batteries, fortified command centers and early warning radars. The fact that the missile is almost impossible to shoot down, combined with its precision, makes it extremely valuable. Other than dedicated bombers such as the B-2 and Tu-160, the Kinjal missile makes the MiG-31 Foxhound by far the best strike platform in the world. The missile's ability to deploy nuclear warheads also makes the MiG-31 a viable nuclear delivery platform. The F-22 cannot deploy nuclear warheads. Looking at air-to-air -air capabilities, the F-22 has the advantage of being difficult to track at long ranges. The MiG-31 can't target the Raptor at these ranges, but it can wreak havoc on American positions, taking out critical assets such as supporting F-15 fighters, early warning aircraft, tankers, transports and bombers with its powerful R-37 missiles. Foxhound's anti-satellite weapons can also blind American air power before air-to-air -air engagements even begin. The F-22 can provide no similar contribution to neutralizing Russian support platforms. Taking out satellites would affect all fields from communications to targeting and surveillance. At closer ranges, the F-22 would likely detect the MiG-31 long before it is itself detected. Whether the MiG will be able to detect the Raptor before it's in range to use its AIM-120 missiles depends on a number of factors, mainly on how many Foxhounds are sharing data and whether they have support from ground-based radars or AWACS. Given how fast and high the MiG-31 flies, the AIM-120 is unlikely to be able to threaten it and range as much over 100 kilometers. Once the Raptor gets close enough to really threaten the Foxhounds, however, they will almost certainly be able to lock onto the Raptors and fire their R-37s. At medium ranges, the R-37 is a much more dangerous missile than the AIM-120. It gives pilots less reaction time due to its higher speed and has a lot more energy to burn, meaning targets cannot easily escape with evasive maneuvers. Other critical aspects of the two aircraft which could be decisive are how easy they are to operate in wartime. In this respect, the F-22 fares poorly with under 50% of the fleet combat ready, the lowest of any American fighter. The Foxhound's combat readiness is over 65%, although it's unknown by how much. Lower maintenance means the jets can fly a lot more frequently. The F-22 is restricted to landing on pristine runways and even a little clutter can render them inoperable. In a wartime situation with air bases likely to be targeted, this poses a major restriction. The MiG-31 can operate from makeshift runways including ice runways, allowing it to operate from Arctic bases and to remain flying even after airfields are targeted. With the Arctic emerging as an increasingly vital theatre for great power competition, the ability to operate from harsh climates is extremely valuable. Overall, the superiority of the aircraft depends on the task at hand. The F-22 has no standoff air-to-ground or anti-shipping capabilities and is poorly suited to anything other than combat against fighter jets. The MiG-31 can take on any ship or ground target at ranges of over 2,000 km at hypersonic speeds, well beyond retaliation range. This combined with its anti-satellite capabilities and its ability to engage a far wider range of aircraft at over twice the range of the Raptor makes it a much more useful asset. The F-22's inability to carry nuclear weapons is also a serious shortcoming. The Raptor is very good at what it does, engaging enemy fighters in air-to-air -air combat, but it is quite impotent in all other roles. We hope you enjoyed this video. For more content like this, subscribe and let us know in the comments below what you would like us to cover in future.